First we create an empty object named car. After this create three child objects named head, wheel 1 and wheel 2. After this create sub-childs of wheel 1 and wheel 2 name wheel. Add the sprite renderer component to the sub-child of wheel 1 and wheel 2 assign the wheel sprites to both sub-child. Add circle collider 2D and rigidbody 2D to the wheel 1 and wheel 2 child object. Add the box collider and sprite renderer to the head object child object and assign the head sprite. Now set the wheel order to 100. Add the sprite renderer and rigidbody to the parent object. After this add the car sprite. Add the polygon collider and wheel joint 2D two times to the parent object. Assign the wheel 1 and wheel 2 to the wheel joint 2D. Now set the wheel joint 2D. I have created 4 scripts named car, game controller, game UI and button plus. Car script is placed on car object, game controller script is placed on an empty object named game controller, game UI script is placed on UI canvas and button plus script is placed on UI buttons. First, open the car script. In car script first we create a structure which is used to set the axle of the car. In this we declare a bool variable to set the motor of the car, rigidbody variable for car rigidbody and speed multiplier for increasing the speed. Now, we declare the array of structure type axle and a variable named speed of type float to set the speed of the car. Now create a public method name reverse to reverse the car and in this we call the move car method. After this, we create another public method named forward to move the car in forward direction and in this we call the move car method. Now we define the move car method in which we pass the one parameter of type float. In this method, we create the for each loop for the number of axles. And in this loop we check the condition for the car motor. If the car motor is available then we call the method torque which is defined in rigid body and set the torque. Now open the game controller script. In this, first we declare the reference variable of type car. After this, create a public method named forward and in this we call the forward method which is created in car class. After this, we create another public method named reverse and in this we call the reverse method which is created in car class. Now open the game UI script. In this, first we declare the reference variable of the type game controller. After this, create a public method named onga's button clicked and in this we call the forward method which is created in the game controller class. After this, we create another public method name on break button clicked and in this we call the reverse method which is created in game controller class. Now open the button plus script. In this, first we add three libraries named event, event system and UI. After this we implement some interfaces I pointer down handler, I pointer click handler, I pointer up handler. Now we define methods named on pointer click, on pointer down, on pointer up which is created in these interfaces. Now we declare some variables. Graphic component of type image. Default sprite and pressed sprite of type sprite. Interactable of type bool. On click, on mouse, on mouse down, on mouse up of type unity event. Is mouse down of type bool. In the start method we assign the default sprite to the graphic component. In the update method, first we check if the condition the button is intractable or not and one another condition for mouse button down or not. If both conditions are true then it invokes the on mouse event. In the on pointer click method, first we check the condition for button is intractable or not. If it is intractable then an on click event is called. In the on pointer down method, first we check the condition for button is intractable or not. If it is intractable then a mouse down event is called and assigns the pressed sprite to the graphic component and also sets the ismo use down true. In the on pointer up method, first we check the condition for button is intractable or not. If it is intractable then a mouse up event is called and assigns the default sprite to the graphic component and also sets the is mouse down false. Now open the unity on the car object, in the car script set the size of axle 2 and set has motor selected and assign the wheels to the rigid body and set speed multiplier. Now also set the speed of the car. After this, select the game controller object and assign the car object to the car reference. After this, select the canvas and assign the game controller object to the game controller reference. After this, select the UI break object, assign the image graphic to the graphic component and assign UI graphic sprites to the sprites reference. In on mouse event add a new event and assign the game controller and select the onbreak button click method, after this, select the UI gas object, assign the image graphic to the graphic component and assign UI graphic sprites to the sprites reference. 
in on mouse event add a new event and assign the game controller and select the on gas button click method. Now play the game and move the car. Stay tuned for more awesome tutorials.